oh look at these everybody look at these these were just delivered by sandra and myrtle's here ever inquisitive mert and it says uh dear joe oh my gosh so it is from a brand obviously um i don't think any of my friends would be so extravagant as to send me these what a beaut look at the deep red roses i just um I i'm just putting my makeup on sorry i've got hardly any makeup why am i bobbing down let me just come here um hello i've got no makeup well i have got some lipstick on i'm actually going out i'm going out to get my christmas present to myself um something i've had my eye on for a long time and i just hope they have it in my size I'll, t I'll let me tell you what it is it's o pioneers you know the lovely shop in maridabone lane have filmed in there run by actresses and they make the most beautiful dresses out of liberty print i love them i really love their dresses and there's one i like that has a bow which is very flattering for my age in very thin needle cord um, and it's in a green and i just hope they've got it online they didn't have my size but i'm going to run down and see so that's going to be my gift to me but i just wanted to say actually with these flowers um please don't think that i just spend all day receiving flowers uh, from brands i don't it's lovely when it happens but you know one day i will sit and talk about collaborations and why i do them and who i do them with and I'm all, I always try to be honest when I do a collaboration and say this is because I've worked with these people a long time and I think most of the collaborations I do come back, they all come back and ask me to do it again because they choose the right person to work with and I choose the right person to work with. When you get it right, it's, it's a great relationship because my, my followers, you, trust the brand and the brand benefits it what when it all falls down is when you don't trust the brand and and I'm a bit mm, iffy about the brand and it never works and in fact truly hand on heart Nige back me up on this Nige my agent that in fact has never happened it has never ever happened all the brands we work with always come back and ask to work again which is the biggest compliment in this in this field is the biggest compliment ever but it, you I could get it so wrong you know I could and I will one day get it so wrong but um it's so nice when you benefit I benefit and they benefit because that's what retail and influence is so so-called influence is all about do you know I'm going to turn this off because it's getting dark and I want to go down Maribone Lane and see if they've got my size for my Christmas present to myself. Hi, so <laughs> this is the Martha, which I have wanted and lusted over. I told you I was coming down to O Pioneers. And there is, ah, oh, here we go, O Pioneers. In fact, here's another version. <laughs> Of well, dress. yeah, a, sa a sample version. A sample, so you can wear it like that. I will not be wearing it with these boots. I'm going to wear it with You totally day. can wear it with I those could, boots, though. I'm going to wear it with ankle socks. But that's what I like about our dresses. You can wear them with boots or little Mary Janes. Or see these knitted um, tank tops. A little tops. tank top. And these girls were the first to do this, and then everyone copied them. Oh, God, sorry about the hair, it's all good. So the other thing I love is and the dog excuse me george last time i was here the dog was actually lying in the because he's been banished he's, he's been banished, banished from there now, now so, so we've bought head. we bought he's him a, a dog bed which you can see that he's just chewing up he's now showing <laughs> his, this is his cabaret act george. he's doing a cabaret I he's gonna start this. humping it now he will hump it stop it george you're on no, camera george, carry on <laughs> Let's see everybody, this actually gives me a waist it's and I don't have a waist. I'm short waisted, but it's so beautifully beautiful. Oh God, it looks like it's made for you, Joe. So, I love it. 
Everybody, this is the Martha. I mean, there are so many others you need to get online. And they've also just been taken on by uh, Pret-a-Porter. Net Net Porter. Porter. Did I say Pret-a-Porter? Pret-a-Porter. We, just, just we did just get some soup from well, Pret-a- yeah, uh, No, Pret-a-Manger. Pret <laughs> But net of water, um, yes. It's so, um, perfect on you. But I would come to the marrowbone shop because then you get to meet these two. Yeah, yeah. Thank and you. we have we have everything here. We they have do. They have everything. everything. And it's the mothership. Just have a look at this. Yeah. So these are some of our jumpers that have just come in from our knitter Kath. So there do you see Kath? So I'm sewing in. Oh, I'm sewing in the labels for the oh, jumpers. This is the camera woman. Well, I don't know, it's just flopped she's over. Voice yeah. over right? yes. <laughs> I think I, I need my own show, Joe. So this is obviously the very exclusive Chiltern Firehouse. Um, I'm meeting the wonderful Claire Conley. She of the meditations and the yoga. Um, I'm meeting her here for a cup of coffee. Uh, just, I think, a bit of a catch up. Um, so we might actually meet here, or we might actually meet over the road, because it's a fantastic coffee shop over the road. Um, but I'll see if there's any tables for coffee in here. here. Hello, with red nose and cold hands and frozen toes. <laughs> Look what she's brought me. Oh, really nice. <laughs> Lovely. I haven't seen her since Spain. Oh, anyway, God, no, it's since Spain. It's beautiful in here. It is beautiful. We have to go. Which way are you going? Um, towards... Hoban. I don't know which way. I don't so know where I am So you need to go. I'll come down with you, then I'll turn. Oh, we've had a lovely time. Yes, we have. Told off once for filming. But oh, no. then the waitress paid the bill. She's amazing, called Great. Sandra. She's coming on my show. You're we coming on my show. We do love her. <laughs> You're coming on my show. This is the wonderful Claire Connolly. <laughs> I will leave her YouTube channel below, but also anyone that listens to my radio show uh, knows Claire. Right, we're crossing over. Right. Oh, do you know, everyone, it is just gone half past one, and I have put as many lights as I, I don't have overhead lights, so I put a ring light, a really cheap ring light on. I, I don't even know if this is, if you can see me, if I, oh gosh. Sorry, everyone, this flat is not good in the afternoon. It's much better if I vlog in the morning. Trouble is, and I'll be absolutely, I am loving Vlogmas. I'm loving, I'm loving it. It keeps me on my toes, but I'm filming in real time. So I've realized that a lot of um, vloggers who've agreed to do Vlogmas stack them up so they have archive footage they can use um, throughout the Christmas period. Well, I don't. I am literally filming and posting as you so this is what is it monday you will see this tomorrow that's as close as we can get it but it, it is why suddenly some of my some of my vlogs you'll see seems just end and i hate that i like my vlogs to be really well crafted but you know sometimes there is no payoff i've nothing to say other than that's the end of that bit now this is what i did next but can I say, honestly, you are being so lovely, your support, and especially people who are expats who used to live in London, who are saying, oh my gosh, it's making me homesick for London, because the city at Christmas is fantastic. And for those of you who live in the country, who are saying, I'm going to get to London just so I can go here, there, and whatever, 
and visit the places you go. It means so much to me. And then all of you Londoners who know me and walk around this area and London, you're so thrilled that I'm showing everyone how it looks because it is a fabulous city. And you know, you I, I said this before, you can enjoy it. You don't have to go shopping at Liberty. You can just walk around Liberty, buy nothing, just walk round it, it'll make you feel great. Walk through the West End, it'll make you feel great. Anyway, listen, that dress I bought from O Pioneers, I am so looking forward to it. I'm going to wear it on Wednesday, because Wednesday is our works do. Not the BBC works do, my works do, which is my team. Philippe, who edits these vlogs, Nigel, my agent. And what's, I think, amazing about the three of us is this is not our main job. You know, the three of us do not come from a background of this. My agent represents big artists who work in, you know, media. He's new to this like I am, and we just love it. We love it. And Philippe, um, okay, so he's younger, so he gets social media, but he's doing a, you know, he works for NBC, he's got a job that he goes to every single day and has to, when he get home, gets home, sort me out. So we're having our Christmas um, dinner at the Ivy Club. I just love the Ivy Club because it's old, it's the old club of London that, you know, Noel Coward used to belong to and I, and I love it. It's not pretentious, it's not full of you know, five minute flash wonders. <laughs> Mustn't be bitchy. Anyway, listen, um, What? nothing on this video is nothing, and that's the other thing on my Vlogmas videos, most of them are not collaborations. There are some, and I urge you to, and in fact, I don't even have to explain this because you all get it. Very few people complain when I collaborate with a brand. And I think it's because the brands that I work with, I've worked with for years, and we support one another. And I, you know, I have total confidence in them. And they in me, which is amazing, because I'm 67. So yeah, there aren't that many. I mean, I try, you know, to collaborate maybe once every three vlogs, maybe not even that. But this is not collaboration. But this I think you'll find interesting, and that's why I wanted to unwrap this with you. Not collaboration, but I think any of you who love cashmere will understand, especially in London. Now, this may not happen anywhere else. In London, there is an epidemic of moths. I've talked about this so many times. I wear a lot of cashmere. I love it. And there was one winter, I opened my drawer, and it had just been eaten, and to the point where I couldn't even salvage it. I couldn't wear it. This included. This is a Bella Freud piece and these are investment pieces. I love them and it was just covered in moth holes. But somebody on my radio show, one of my listeners said there is a company in Scotland that repairs cashmere, invisibly repairs cashmere. And they did and I sent them all my cashmere and they repaired. They then sent me an email saying they closed just before the pandemic and they haven't reopened for repairs, which is such a shame because they were fantastic. But then a company called Nearly New Cashmere contacted me on Instagram. Oh my gosh, this is a tiny little company in Ripon and it's just a small group of women who said, look, we salvage cashmere. We upgrade it, upsize it, whatever you want to call it. So they'll take vintage cashmere, worn cashmere, pre-loved I think is the words we use, unpick it, if it's sweaters for instance, usually sweaters, unpick it and remake it into all sorts of items. So they said there's hardly ever something they can't, so they can either make gloves or sweaters or v-neck um, tank tops or socks or hats. I mean, I urge you to go to their website, not yet, because I want to see what they've sent me. They said they also, this is why I'm telling you this, they also repair cashmere. So if your moths have got, or you've stained something, they clean it, they repair it, they send it back to you. They also 
buy cashmere from you for vouchers. So if, there's, if you've got cashmere that is, they won't, if it's shrunk, if it's washed and shrunk, they won't. It has to be in its, you know, in its original condition, but it may be worn, may be even um, marked. They'll unpick what they can and they pay you in vouchers. For, you need to understand that if you go to the website, but it's such a great deal. I just think it's brilliant because the life of your pieces that you loved go on and on. And it's saving the planet because people aren't then going and buying more. Anyway, they said, please, can we send you something? And I went, no, no, you don't have to do that. I will tell everyone about you. And they went, no, just let us send it to you because then you'll see what upcycled cashmere. I have no idea what's in this. You can see I haven't opened it. By the way, my hair, ah, oh, you know I had that lovely blow dryer. I then went for a swim and now look at it. I mean, the blow dryers, I've got to stop having them. Complete waste of money when I swim every day. Oh, blimey. I don't want to walk away because then I have to cut the scene and then Philippe has to edit it and we don't have time to edit. We keep everything in, as you can... Know. Oh, look, I love it when they come in these beautiful 100% cotton... Nearly new cashmere company. Let's see. Oh gosh, right, okay. Oh my gosh. So, oh, these are, look how beautifully wrapped they are. Oh, I love grey cashmere. Look at these little hand warmers. So these would have been, oh, this is such a great idea. These would have been from, oh my gosh, I, I'm, not, I'm not taking the label off because I'm going to Instagram them. Look at that. These would have been from the sleeves. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh. Okay, I put it on the wrong way, everybody. I'm not going to edit this out because there isn't time. <clears throat> you put the sleeve on, what would have been the sleeve, on and your thumb through there and there you have mittens. That, you can see, is being made out of a much-loved grey cashmere sweater. Oh my gosh, it is inspired. So, I can tell you the price. We get the glasses. £24, £24, <coughs> where cashmere meets serendipity in the Yorkshire Dales. So Ripon, obviously, I worked there, very near there as an actress. I love those. I doubt if you'll ever get two pairs the same. How wonderful. And if you give these as a gift to yourself or whatever, you know you're helping a really good company and yourself. Just so clever. Now, dear Joe, hope you love your cashmere. If it doesn't fit, please let us know and we will swap it. We want you to have something you will love and that you will wear. Much love from the nearly new cashmere team. So now, oh, they've sent me their brochure. They do men's. Oh, our story. I really should read into this. Ali and her team at Nearly New Cashmere Rescue and reconditioned thousands of discarded 100% cashmere pieces every single year. So look, they do it for men's items. Ah, it shows how the brand grew. It was established in 2015. So right, and that's the Yorkshire Dales and that's where it's based. Are you ready? Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is, I don't know what color, color this is coming out on the camera. It is a proper blonde beige. Cash, beautiful, beautiful, 100% cashmere. Look at those cuffs. A lovely long ribbed cuff. Look at the beautiful neck. Look at the seams. Look at this. Luxury. 
absolute luxury. Let me see what's in the nearly new cashmere. Okay, do you know how much this costs? Look at this, this is 100% luxury cashmere that has been upcycled. 48 quid. What am I going to pay on Marylebone High Street for a cashmere sweater like that? Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to go and put that on. We will edit this, because I'm going to stop the camera now and put this on. Oh. My. Goodness. Just look at this. This fits like a dream. Look at the sleeves, look at the fit of it. I'm wearing it with my jeans. I absolutely, it is so flattering, you know, this colour with my, I haven't even had a blow dry look. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so soft, it's one of the most beautiful cashmeres. Down, Mert, down so everyone can see. I love it, if I do this, can you see even more? Thank you, thank you so much. That's my phone. Nearly new cashmere. Nearly new cashmere company. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna be wearing this into work tonight. I love it, love it. Go online, see what you like. Um, and maybe you want to trade in some cashmere for some vouchers. Maybe you want them to repair. Maybe you want to buy cashmere beautiful, luxury, pre-loved cashmere at a much more affordable price. I, l I love doing this, but it is, it's like a feather, but it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna finish this vlog here because that's uh, basically it for the day. I've gotta um, get my act together, work out what I'm doing on the show tonight and go. Tomorrow's vlog will be the staff dinner with me and Philippe. I think he's bringing his girlfriend as well, Katie, and um, Nige at the Ivy. We're not allowed to film at the Ivy, but we might film on the way and on the way back. Oh, I love this. Thank you. Link below. Have a look. Not sponsored, not collaborated, but I'm certain will be of help or benefit to many of you who love your cashmere. Bye. Oh, subscribe, please. Somebody said to me, Joe, you forget. Please subscribe, please, please, please subscribe. I just want, I just want 2023 to be the year I have a silver button on my wall from 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I mean, it's taking me a long time. Just if all of you just got a mate to subscribe, I'd, I'd be there. Do you realize I'd be there? It's a big ask though, isn't it? Bye for now, see you tomorrow.